Good morning, guys. So welcome to the class of CE3C1, Environmental Engineering 1. Environmental Engineering 1. So we were discussing sedimentation theory, right? Yes, sir. And first of all, we saw the settling velocity of a particle is this settling velocity, Vs. <coughs> and it can be uh, two types or three types of flow, which is uh, laminar, transitional, and turbulent. So this is general. It can be applied to any case. Now, the value of Cd can be calculated in laminar flow, transitional flow, and turbulent flow, where R is the Reynolds number. Now, if this is a laminar flow, if this is laminar flow, then we can always put CT equals to 24 by R here, and then this equation will be converted to this. So this is in case of laminar flow, okay? We discussed these things. I'm just reviewing it. So sedimentation theory, we discussed in detail what is uh, critical settling velocity, which is SOR, surface overflow rate, and how and what is the significance of SOR to increase the efficiency of the sedimentation tank? This is an important question. Okay. And you, we saw that how we can, if you decrease the SOR, then efficiency of the sedimentation tank will increase. Are you guys are following me? Yes, sir. If you decrease VCS, this is actually SOR. If we decrease it, then efficiency of the sedimentation tank will increase. And how you can reduce VCS? Look at this equation. If you increase B into L, either B or L, then you can reduce it. That means you have to increase the surface area. This surface area you have to increase it. How, how can I increase it? You can increase it. One option is using multiple trays parallelly, multiple trays, okay, or multiple tube settlers. So factors is important. Factors, those influence plane sedimentation. One is, say, size, shape, and weight of the particle. So the particle that is entering here, size, shape, and weight of the particle. If the particle is higher, it will settle faster, easily, right? Viscosity and temperature of water. Of course, it viscosity uh, offers shear stress, resistance to shear stress. So that also uh, affects the sedimentation. Also, the temperature of water. Surface overflow rate, we already discussed it. VCS. Surface overflow rate is basically the critical settling velocity. Inlet and outlet arrangement. What is the arrangement at inlet and at outlet? That also affects the efficiency of the sedimentation tank. Detention period. What is detention period? Detention period is the particle from a, starting from the entering of the sedimentation tank to the point where it exits from the sedimentation tank at outlet. The time duration, that time duration is actually the detention period. That means how much time a water particle remains in this sedimentation tank. How much time, uh, this is flowing water, right? So once the particle enters, it will eventually move and pass through the Outlet, water particle, I'm talking about water, water particle, okay? 
So water particle, so how much time this water particle remains in this sedimentation tank? And effective depth of settling the scene. What is the depth? Effective depth. What is the depth of the settling the scene? Effective depth. Is it clear, guys? Yes, sir. Sedimentation tank can be rectangular, can be circular, okay, can be vertical flow, horizontal flow. It can be of different types. Common design criteria. We need to know this. First of all, velocity of the uh, sedimentation tank should not be greater than 30 centimeter per minute for a horizontal flow tanks. The velocity in this tank, which velocity, guys? We are talking about. We are talking about this velocity horizontal velocity horizontal velocity so this should not be greater than 30 meter per second centimeter per sorry 30 centimeter per minute tank dimension should be three to five what does it mean this means that l is the length v is the width so of course this will be greater than one so this should be should not should be in between three to five. Should be in between three to five. Not less than three, not greater than five. Is it clear? Or you can write uh, in this way. You can write in this way. that L by V three this is it clear is hmm? yes, sir. yes sir if L by B is more chance of short circuiting is less short circuiting what is short circuiting for example the detention time uh, uh, on this tank, uh, on, on the sedimentation tank, the detention time on the sedimentation tank is uh, enters and exists a particle. Maybe, I don't know, one hour. Now, if there is wind flow, wind, you know what will happen? The, the, the upper layer water will fast, will move will move fast so therefore velocity v horizontal will increase therefore the t will be decreased less than one hour if it moves faster then understandably this will stay for smaller duration of time am i right yes sir so if this happens, then the removal will not be as the amount as we expect. Therefore, this is called short circuiting. Okay. So this is short circuiting. So if L by B is more, more than five, then short circuiting might happen. Okay. So generally, length provided is 30 meter. In extreme case, it may be taken as 100 meter. So length uh, usually should be 30 meter in this range. In extreme case, we may go for 100 meter length. I'm talking about length. And breadth 6 to 10 meter. Breadth means the B. B should be. Six to ten meters. Okay. And circular tank diameter greater than sixty meter. Common size is twenty to forty meter. Depth two point five to three meter. This depth. This depth two point five to 
3 meter. If you go higher, then it will be difficult to clean the tank. Okay. And there are other problems also. So 2.5 to 5 meter. 3 meter more common. Detention period. Detention period should be 3 to Sir, sir, I have no question. Sir, maybe need a problem. I think I got disconnected, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, where, sir. Where, where, I? Did you, did you hear number point three? Sir, please skin the head channel. We depth there, what are the rules? Depth there, okay. So, so did you hear point number three here? Okay, no problem. So detention period. Um, there are two types of sedimentation. One is before addition of the water to the sedimentation tank, if you apply some chemicals to to help the sedimentation, that is called coagulated sedimentation. And on the other hand, if you don't apply anything before putting the water into the sedimentation tank, that is called plain sedimentation. Is it clear? Hmm? Can you please repeat it? Sorry, to add it. Uh, before putting the water in the sedimentation tank, if you apply some chemicals to help the removal process okay and aid as an aid then that is called coagulated sedimentation and if you apply nothing to the water just raw water in the sedimentation tank then it's called plain sedimentation clear yes, sir. so in case of plain sedimentation since you do not have any aid to help the sedimentation so you need more time three to four hours detention time but in coagulated sedimentation, since you have added some chemicals or any other agents to help the sedimentation, then your required time is now reduced to 2 to 2.5 hours. Okay? That's what they meant here. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Surface overloading, yes or are. There are some criteria so go through this space and slope 1% toward inlet and circular 8%. So slope means, you know, it seems the water, you, you want the water to move in this direction. So we need to give some slope here. You need to give some slope here. So this is, um, sorry. Yeah, not in this direction, actually. Um, uh, 
uh, one uh, one percent towards the inlet and circular eight percent the total amount of flow from the tank within 24 hours generally equals the maximum daily demand of the water for the efficient removal of the sedimentation tank it should be kept in mind that the flow is uniformly distributed throughout the cross section of the tank so you know one percent towards inlet so Okay, slope the tower got percent one percent. Okay, clear. Yes, sir. So, um, let's solve a problem now. Example, let's start from here to the bullshit is design a pre sedimentation tank to be used to remove grist, grit manuche oil and other material and sand from a river water what is used to produce 20,000 meter cube per day of drinking water is the overflow rate and horizontal velocity is calculated okay so the thing is it's a simple problem you have a community here okay you have a community here and the community and you have a building and these things yeah okay and what is the demand here the demand is 20,000 meter cube per day q equals to 20,000 meter cube per day okay is the demand of water now here is a river maybe and you need to install a water treatment plant a sedimentation tank here to bring the water from here from the river and then treat it in the in, in, in the sedimentation tank and then supply the water to the community clear yes sir yes sir. yes sir okay look at here use two tanks how many tanks two tanks that means Instead of one tank, now you're using two tanks. So use two tanks. Another tank is yeah. So basically, what you're doing, same size tank, for example. So we have to our water will be divided, right? So if this is twenty thousand meter cube per day, the total demand, then it should be ten thousand. And it should be 10,000. Am I right? Yes, sir. So that's why they're dividing in key by two. Okay. If it were one tank, then the total 20,000 would have to be supplied from the single tank. In that case, in that case you do not divide it by two. In that case, you do not divide it by divide it by two. If this is one tank, since you have two tanks here, that's why you are dividing it by two. If I tell you use one tank, then you should not, you must not divide it. Is it clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now what else? Um, you need to remove grief and sand. That means you need to remove the polluters in this. Uh, or uh, sedimentation tank from a river and used to okay fine use the overflow rate so overflow rate is given maybe right what is overflow rate overflow rate is actually the settling velocity settling velocity is the overflow rate basically um, um I mean, overflow rate, okay? And horizontal velocity is calculated in example. And horizontal velocity is also given. Horizontal velocity is what? Horizontal velocity is calculated in example 4.1. What is that? This... Uh,
first of all, uh, I don't want to horizontal velocity. Do we calculate this? Is of a uh, horizontal velocity. Where is the horizontal velocity? This is the setting velocity. So okay, so le let's take the settling velocity from this example. Okay, is given. Settling velocity is what? Settling velocity is uh, 3.59 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second. Or if you convert it the unit to meter per day, then it will be 31 meter per day. Okay. So 31 meter cube per meter square day means meter per day. So V S equals to is given 31 meter per day. Is given, okay. Now what is V settling? I mean V settling velocity. V S is what? V S is actually Q divided by B into L. Remember this? Q divided by A S. Yes, sir. So A S means what? A S means the um, this one actually. B into L. B into L. So B into L, and this is the height. For example, H. So B. We are talking A S is this one. Okay. A S is this one. So B into L. Now we can easily determine. This is what. This is thirty one. You need to remember the unit, by the way, this is meter per day. Meter per day, okay? So, AS is what? AS, surface of our AS equals to Q divided by 31. What is Q, guys? Q is 10,000. We are doing it for one tank, right? So, I mean, we have two tanks, but we are solving it for one tank. So, Q is what? 10,000. 10,000. So 10,000. Can you please tell me the value? Q is in, by the way, Q is unit to Q, unit to chair, meter cube per day. So Q is unit to chair, meter cube per day. For 322.58. 322.58. You need to have it as a meter per day, meter per day. That's all you have a DT meter square. Meter right? square, yeah, yes, sir. So 322.58 meter square. Now, let's assume an L by B ratio 1 to 4. That one is 4 basically. Go to the recommendation. Go to the recommend. This should be in between three to five. This should be in between three to five. So, in that case, since the quest question did not define or mention the value, you are free. You are free to take any value from three to five. This value. Let's take we, uh, we let's take four. It was also correct if you had taken three or five no problem but better than five no less than three no clear anything in between three to five clear yes sir okay. so we have taken four you could also have taken five or three so l by b equals to four now a is is what B into L. 
right? Fine. So A is equals to B into L. From here, we can see L equals to 4 into B, right? Yes, sir. So AS is what? 322.58. To L equals to 4B. So B into 4B. So you can write 322.58 equals to 4B squared. So can you please tell me the value of B? You can calculate the value of B from here. Tell me the value of B. Sir, 8.98. 8.98 meter or you can call it approximately 9 meter so therefore your L is what 4 into B so L equals to so L equals to 4 into 9 equals to 36 meter am I right yes sir now what is the what is the objective of this problem? To solve, to design a pre-sedimentation tank. Design. Design a pre-sedimentation tank, that means determination of L, determination of B, and determination of depth. At the same time, determination of what? Detention time. This is called the design. Like if you design a building, you need to know you are, you are basically calculating the design of I mean the, the dimension of a column beam or footing. Similarly, design of a sedimentation tank here is this. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So look at this equation now. So we have already determined uh, L B. L B, what else? Remaining H. Right? H. Now, this is 35, that is almost 36 and 9. Fine. Now, let's uh, assume, let's assume the detention time. Look at here, detention period for a plain sedimentation tank should be three to four hour, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's assume anything, three to in between three to four, in between three to four. So we have assumed three hours. So let's assume that, let, sorry, let us assume that, T equals to three hours. Now look at here. Settling velocity, if this is like this, V cell, V S or V0. Sometimes we also call it V0, whatever it is. So this is basically downward. So V equals to what guys? S by T, am I right? Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. If if this is Vs is vertically downward, then S will be what? S will be also vertically downward. That is what? H. So if V is settling velocity, then S is what? H. Am I right? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Vs equals to H by H. So you can easily determine Vs equals to H by T. So H equals to what? Vs into T. So T equals to three hours, fine. Three hours. And Vs equals to what? Vs equals to is 31 meter per day. So 31, let's write it first, 31 
meter per day, right? Meter per day. Now this is what? Three hour. Right? So day day. You also need to take it in day. So let's take it day and divide it by 24. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So now tell me the value of this. So day day will be cancelled out and we will have meter. This meter. So can you please tell me the value? Zero point one two five. Zero point one two five meter. Uh, really? What have done? Here? So three point eight seven five. Three point eight seven five. Three point eight seven five, right? Three point eight seven five meter. Approximately three point nine meter. Let's call it three point nine meter. So we have calculated H. So we know now. Now we know B, L, and H. So we calculated B, L, and H. Done. Also, you can calculate the horizontal velocity. Horizontal velocity will be what? Horizontal velocity, this one. Vh equals to what? L by T. If this V is V horizontal, then S will be what? L. Am I right? Yes, sir. And now just Vh equals to L by T. So if you go there, v h equals to l by t l is what guys l we have determined 36 and t is what t is uh, you know three hour right so meter per hour so it will be meter per hour or meter per day you can always calculate it meter per day meter per minute whatever you want clear yes sir So you just needed what? Here you needed this equation, which is um, here you needed this equation and Vs equals to Q by Vs equals to Q by As. You needed this equation, right? Here. Here you are applied Vs equals to Q by S. As are you following me? Yes, sir. Vs is given, Q is given, so calculate S. Now you assume L by V equals to 4 by 4. L by 4. Assume. Okay. Now A S equals to B into L, you know. So that A S value you use it and it is you use this two and calculate L and V. And then finally you use this equation to calculate the value of half depth. That's it. Let's look at this problem. This problem, they're telling that. Sir. Yes. Sir, we problem that is H J. H J. This is the amra. Yeah, layer day. Do it about in the layer day. So how much? Right. Right. So change. Right. So in that case, uh, look at here. Basically, um, when you have multiple layers, right? When you have multiple layers, then your total A's will be what? If they are similar plate, like one plate, two plate, three plates, 
so it will be one two three four five right so he, there your as will be multiplied by five into a is equals to five into bl am i right yes sir yes sir yeah and um your settling velocity will be limited to this this and this so your height uh will be basically theoretically it should be this okay yes sir so it's like uh i mean if you if you take as equals to 5 into bl the whole then h will be the total one okay now if you take consider only this portion a small sedimentation tank only one layer then your as will be 1 into bl and your h will be this okay okay sir thank you no problem so you can in that case you can actually um consider each of them a single yeah uh, yeah here you can consider each of them a sedimentation tank this is one sedimentation tank this is another sedimentation tank this is another sedimentation tank so your as will be 1 into bl and your h will be this uh, then the total one clear is it clear guys yes sir yes sir in the next problem the average daily demand at a town has been estimated at 8 million liters per day ek day te 8 million design a suitable sedimentation tank assuming a detention period of 5 ekhane dekho detention period ta deya ache age kintu eta deya chilo na abar horizontal flow of velocity ta deya ache eta kintu age deya chilo na velocity of flow by the v h ekhane deya ache which are there chilo na age ki deya chilo age chilo settling velocity in the previous problem it can actually horizontal it have a you know it's a third day and should the key that's overflow it overflow it when it is settling velocity what for it when it is settling settling velocity settling velocity that they are chilo in a can a it is in a time that the detention in a detention period they are chilo they are chilo now a can a detention period they are tdh are key yes the h they are I can get their chill. I can get your V settling velocity that they are chill. I keep their chill. Settling velocity they are chill. I won't keep their chill. I can keep to their chill. Shut it in a timer horizontal velocity. Okay. So, first of all, Q to I can do different. Babet they are 8 million liter per day. 8 million liter. Q I'm a Q. I will call Q volume per time na? meter cube per day then at a million liter per day fine so it take into average it a key average at an idea the flow can to shara the never very good the part of chocolate bishy demand or a com demand and chocolate or office is at an it is a q dollar it and then the time dollar Zero take it to 24 hours and let us only pick a shadow. I'll follow me, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ever is to give ever is to see can I go to the other the door show it to the child ever at a mother with a choice of parts which are to have the two month design could be was to give an issue highest load job. The market to me design creators at the peak to a Q average is it a 
এটাকে মাল্টিপ্লাই করে এখানে নিয়ে আসতে হবে দুই বা তিন সামথিং রাইট সো পিকিং ফ্যাক্টর এটা হচ্ছে পিকিং ফ্যাক্টর এই দেখো এইটাকে এই এভারেজটাকে ম্যাক্সিমামে নিয়ে আসছে ম্যাক্সিমাম কোনটা এই যেটা হচ্ছে ম্যাক্সিমাম ঠিক আছে তো ম্যাক্সিমাম নিয়ে আসলাম কত 14.4 মিলিয়ন মিলিয়ন মানে কত মিলিয়ন মানে 10 টু দি পাওয়ার 6 তাহলে 14.4 ইনটু 10 টু দি পাওয়ার 6 লিটার নাও ডিটেনশন পিরিয়ডটা হচ্ছে 5 ঘন্টা তার মানে এখানে একবার ঢোকার পরে ওয়াটারটা কতক্ষণ থাকে कतुम ब फोर्टीट शुद्ध लिटर लिटर तो लिटर लिटारे आवर आवर चले ग मीटर की मीटारे कत मीटर पर मिनिटेंशन पिरियड कत बोल तो 
मीटर सो uh if you multiply 0.225 and 60 how much did you get 66 meter okay clear is it clear yes sir yes you know, sir we got l we got l we know the volume by the way we know the volume okay now is very easy volume equals to what a volume equals to um l into b into a is am i right yes sir okay so length to jana ache volume o jana ache length koto 66 meter asho ekhane kori volume equals to l into b into h so it out your my tank to be here right? this is my this is a tank here right so this is l this is b and this is h so the volume was what volume was uh, So volume, by the way, three thousand cubic meter. So three thousand meter cube. What is L, guys? L is what sixty-six meter. B into H. So B into H means this, right? This is what cross sectional area, ASC. This is the surface area, AS, and this is the cross sectional area. Am I right? B into H, yes, sir. B into H is actually the cross-sectional area. So from here you can calculate the cross-sectional area. That is what. That is forty-five point five meters square. Three thousand divided by sixty-six. Three thousand divided by this sixty-six. That is sixty-six. So. now uh this is basically ac is basically i told you this what is b into h is what what's the value here the value is 45.5 meter square so this is 45.5 meters now if you can assume one then You can determine the other one. Now go to the um, recommendations. Depth, right? Depth should be two point five to three meter. Three meter more common. It should be should not be less than two point five. Should not be greater than five. So two point five to five, right? Two point five. Let's assume it four meter, which is in between two point five to five. You can also could have assumed three. Four, five, or four point five, right? Here, let's assume this is uh, assume age equals to four meter. Then you can calculate b equals to what? So b equals to forty-five point five divided by four. Forty-five point five divided by four. This is eleven point five approximately. Eleven point three seven, and from here you can approximately write eleven point five meter. So that means you know B, you know H, and you know L. Don't you know L? You know L. Where? What did you determine L? 
sir so, vh is equal to l by t from there we have determined l mm, vh equals to l by t from here we determined l yeah so this l is 66 meter here l so 66 meter l here right 66 meter so we determined l we determined h and we determined b that's it problem solved the size of the tank is 66 11.5 and 4. this is the l this is the b and this is the h clear yes sir yes sir so these are two different types of problem this is very important for your exam okay so any questions okay. guys no questions no, sir okay then thank you very much have a good one and stay safe